Hey folks, welcome back to Hamblechea Ranch. My name is Jason. Right now I've got the, the pups with me. There's Matcha. Oh, Tasanka and Witko aren't with me. Tasanka, Witko. Oh, there's Tasanka. He's coming. Where's Witko? Oh, well, Witko was with me. I don't know where he is though. All right, well, let's get back to the order of the day. So today we are building a uh, drag. Now it's basically a V plow that I'm gonna hook up to the truck. And when we get snow, we're gonna use that to drag the road. A Couple of reasons we're doing it. First is to help clear the road. But more importantly, it's gonna create a base for us so that we can run our snowblower on it. So the parts that we are using for the V plow drag are these three by 10 inch boards these beams here uh yeah it's gonna be a big one so the first thing i've got to do is i gotta go get my trailer bring it over here because we're gonna build this thing on the trailer Okay, so the plan for this build is relatively straightforward. Uh, we've got two large timbers. We're gonna put them in a V. We're gonna attach them at the nose. Then we're going to use these steel plates in the corner to help for the help with integrity. And then we've got some true dimension two by fours and a two by six that we're gonna put in the center of the V as well. Uh, to to again strengthen the integrity of the V. All right. Well, it looks like I've got all of my materials, so let's get to work. Crap, did this thing just split on me? Oh man, shoot. Well, it looks like I may have split this, but I don't know, I don't think it went all the way through. Look at this. So if you see this little lip here, it does go all the way down and it's right where this is i don't think it's split all the way through but to be to be safe what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i extended my bit a little bit and i'm gonna try to run the bit all the way through as opposed to just putting it in um 
I mean, it, it was only like that much left that I needed to poke through, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and poke through on it. Okay, I think that's a better route to go. So we're gonna try putting these things in again and see what happens. See, the problem is if this does split, I can't use this board. I can't run the risk of having pieces <laughs> falling on the floor, you know, falling all over the road. So, I don't know. Hopefully it holds up, we'll see. Okay, so the corner is solid. We have two of these metal plates in here, so that's good. So I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. And what I am gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple of screws, 10 inch screws in here, uh, and that's really just to hold everything together. Um, internally, I don't want this wood splitting. Uh, and if it does split, like I said, that's it for this, this V. Uh, there will be no more V. So it's coming together just fine. Okay, so we've got the basic foundation set. The next thing I need to do is actually pretty important. I gotta make sure that I'm not building this thing too wide for the road. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from this point over to that point. We're gonna get that distance. There's a few spots on the road I wanna go check. So let's go do that. All right, so we went and took a look at the road. Uh, this thing here is 12 and a half feet and we have plenty of, uh, of distance all the way down the road. Uh, I think the closest, if I remember, was 14 feet. So as long as I got the truck dead center in the middle of the road, this thing is going to clear, clear out uh, from side to side, all the way down, no issues, no obstacles. So the next step here is I want to add another uh, True Dimension 2x4 uh, back here. So we're going to measure this up, get it cut, and get it installed. So Two years ago, I built the V-plow. Unfortunately, I built it after it snowed and I just really threw it together. Now it did work, but uh, it wasn't as good as this one's gonna be. All right, we are making progress. So we've got this second brace in and uh, the next thing we're going to do is we need to build a carriage here so that I can put some cinder blocks for weight. So what we're going to do is use this scrap piece. We're going to get that cut, measured and cut. And then we've got this 2x6 over here that'll go behind, uh, a little bit further down. 
we'll get that one in place and that way i can put two maybe even three cinder blocks in here tie strap them together so that'll give me the weight that i need uh, to go down the road so all right we are losing daylight the sun is almost down and when that sun goes down it is going to get really cold so we have got to get this thing finished let me show you where we're at all right so we've got the carriage all set up and ready for the cinder blocks that'll go inside of here and then we can strap them around all three of these boards this here is a two by six that's a true dimension two by four and another true dimension two by four uh, what i think i'm going to do is put uh, small two by fours underneath this because this board here is going to be holding all of the cinder block weight and i don't want to have any issues with it the weakest point right now is right at this joint on both sides so if i can get something underneath here to kind of support it it should be okay what i'm working on now though is to add the drag chain now the drag chain's purpose is to break up the surface of the plowed uh, uh, road and that is so that uh, we don't have um, you know sli any slick spots so as this plow moves through the snow it's going to smooth it out then the chain is going to drag behind it and break it all up and it'll leave a real nice surface i want to make sure this is secured fat you know secured well so what i'm using are these lag bolts which are the same lag bolts that i used for the uh, angle iron that i added up in the peak so basically <clears throat> we're going to just take this right through one of the links now i did pre-drill holes so that the wood doesn't split one's good let's go do the next one so i think on this one we're actually going to go through the hoop in the, uh, in the end here Okay, so really the last step is to attach some eye hooks to the front of the plow so that we can attach the chain, which is gonna get attached to the pickup truck. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the eye hooks that I need. So for right now, we're just gonna leave the plow on the trailer. Uh, and we're gonna actually leave the plow on the trailer until we get snow to use it because I don't wanna set it in the ground and have it freeze to the ground. That would really suck. So in a couple of days, uh, after I've had a chance to get to town and get the eye bolts, uh, we'll go ahead and get the eye bolts installed, we'll get the chains installed, and then we'll be ready for winter. Now the thing I did differently on this one than the one I built uh, two years ago uh, is that the uh, this, this little seat here for the cinder blocks, a cinder block that we have are seven and a half inches wide, this here is eight and a quarter. Uh, that way there's a nice tight fit uh, in this little seat here uh, for the cinder blocks to sit. Uh, we'll get them in there, then we're gonna wrap uh, um, straps around and it's all up off of the ground. It will not be you know, rubbing against the, uh, the, uh, the road. Uh, the other thing that I did on this, and I think you can see it right here, but I'll get you a close up, is underneath this two by four right here, this one, I did add supports, uh, basically cut two by fours underneath to help carry the weight because this is where the uh, cinder blocks are gonna be sitting. So to make sure that we have more than enough support, I think adding those will, those will help. They'll certainly help. Um, now the two uh, brackets up front, those are obviously to help prevent 
the uh, these two large beams here from caving in on each other and then of course to uh, finish off the the plow uh, we've got this really thick chain which is basically just the drag uh, behind the plow uh, and to break up um, the the snow so I think all in all, I am really, really happy with the way this thing came out. I really cannot wait to use this. Um, I mean, it does mean snow, but I do like snow. So uh, now the reason we wanted to build this and the reason we're using this um, is to make sure that we have a nice smooth base uh, to use the snowblower on. This is not what we're gonna be using all winter long. This is simply to get that, that nice smooth base. And when we do start getting snow that's gonna be sticking and staying around, sticking around, uh, I will certainly do another video to show you guys how well this is working. Uh, based on the design we had two years ago, uh, I see no reason why this won't just kick ass this winter. Well, it has been a few days and uh, actually it's been a little more than a few days, but we got all the pieces that uh, we needed to finish up the V-plow. So we're going to head over there and we're going to finish up the V-plow. We have Tasunka and Whitka with us. Tasunka is kind of slow rolling this morning. Whitko, on the other hand, he is all over the place. Okay, so we got everything we need to finish off the V plow. So we're gonna try to do that right now. Here it is. The last thing we need to do is poke a few holes in there, put our eye bolts in there, and then uh, this thing is ready to be used. Okay, so the V-plow is ready to go. The last thing I need to do now is really just wait for it to snow. And when that happens, we're gonna go ahead and drop this plow, get it on the ground. We're gonna throw a couple of cinder blocks in there, throw some straps on it, hook up the chains to the eye bolts that we just put in, hook that up to the, uh, to the truck, and then pull it. So until then, thanks so much for sticking around and watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you folks on the next video.